Biology is at the base of the Joule process. Briefly speaking, what it does, it takes CO2, waste CO2 coming from power plants or any large uh, basic uh, chemicals facility, and it transforms this CO2 into fuel products which are directly usable in your car tank or in a diesel engine or in whatsoever. And it does so in a very unique way. It takes solar power and it uses bugs bugs like cyanobacteria and those bugs they eat CO2 and they just sweat fuel product. So you have a combination of solar energy, bugs extracting CO2 from you know waste CO2 from any sources and directly making fuel products. Well CTPI brings together a number of companies which are developing or have developed processes which somewhere or another are there to fight climate change by reducing the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Some of those companies have already mature technologies, so they need support to help lower the barriers to get commercial and the like. We are right now in the deployment stage and LCTPA tends to select sort of game changers. And we think we have a game changer, so there we are. If you believe that whatever you are doing is a positive thing for society or something does something for the good of everybody else, you feel better. And I think these are most of our people here and they are all very proud and happy to try to contribute to, to fight the problem. Carbon-free transport mobility and we are co-leader of that section of LCTPI. So obviously we are very much involved. We are very active, we'll be even more, I think, in the future, and that our reason for getting into the LCTPI. We have proven the technology. I mean, we have demonstrated in the field, under real sun conditions, that we can absorb CO2 and get few products. But we are now at the stage where we have to deploy or industrialize the technology. And this is where, obviously, we need support. What I would expect from COP21 is to show that there are technologies, processes, which can both make economic sense, which I think to me is key, and also go a big step forward to solve the problem. That's why I think what we have to, what we can bring, abate CO2 everywhere, and substitute useful products which use existing infrastructure and more for mobility.